Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Metroid 2 Return to Samus. In the last part we started off this area here, and now we're gonna continue on. I know it's kinda hard to tell what area we're in at the start of every part, but I blame the fact that a lot of the stuff in this game looks alike, aside from this area. Because admittedly, this area looks the pretty much unique in the game. And we got a Gamma right here. This is another one of my Gammas that I hate fighting. Not as bad as the one in the cobwebs, but still kind of bad just because of the positioning. Also, I gotta say, everything on this planet is out to kill Samus. <laughs> then again, that's the way it is in every game. Also, I'm somehow hitting him when not fa- well, it. While not even facing the direction. Samus is just that intimidating, apparently. 18 left to go. Actually, uh, we started with... 39. I think we're almost at the halfway point, actually, in terms of Metroid numbers. So, let's see, 39 divided by 2. Uh, let's see, I'm doing this in my head. That is... 19.5. That took me far too long to realize. So, yeah, we're actually just past the halfway point in Metroid numbers. Though, we're way past the halfway point in the game, actually. <laughs> I think we end off the game with almost 10 remaining. <laughs> ah, because let's see, uh, I believe so. Also, I found those two missile tanks that I mentioned that I was missing last part, and they're in fairly simple positions. Now, once you know it, they're back in the waterlogged area! Fantastic, I have to go back to that area for uh, the whatever time. Well, I'll get more into that when we get to it. How does it know we're there? We're literally not within vision. And my phone just went off. Really though, you can't really say much about Alpha and no, Gammas at this point. We fought them so many times that there really isn't much left to say. Other than the fact that in the official art as uh, Part 3's thumbnail was... Gamma Metroids look weird, considering they have legs instead of that weird little shell thing they seem to have. But then again, that's the difference between in-game art and concept art. Uh, I still really hate this track. Mind you, as I've said multiple times, I'm not a big fan of the lack of soundtrack this game really seems to have, aside from atmospheric pieces. But this one in particular just grates on my ears, almost to the extent of Sonic Spinball's uh, options music. Ugh. And in here we got another Gamma. Actually, I uh, know, looking at it, I do see legs. Never mind, actually. It just looks like the outer rims of a shell. I'm not sure how it's flying, though. Then again, how do any of the Metroids fly? <laughs> then again, the normal uh, standalone Metroid that is in every other game is essentially a parasite, so I guess it makes sense to some extent. And that's the Earthquake! Now you see this little uh, thing above me? This is actually a shortcut. If you press up in A while, uh, well, if you press up while holding A, you'll actually fly out right near the entrance of the area. So this is actually one of the first times I'm showing the complete back, Jack, that's lava, to the, uh, back, uh, to the lava. By the way, keep in mind that room right there f for a while later, we'll be, uh, for later in the part, we'll be back there. For those of you playing along. I'm not sure why you would play along with this, considering it's not my best Metroid run, that probably goes to my Zero Mission playthrough. I'm not sure which one, though. Probably the replay. I really can't say it enough, though, but while I do not like this game's soundtrack at all, really, I do really love this song. Then again, it's just such a nice brush of fresh, fresh air every time you hear it after going through a long area without much music to it. It's short and repetitive like most Game Boy music was, but eh, it's still kind of catchy. And more lava here! Huh, keep this room also in mind for later on. And this is probably one of the most out-of-the-way segments of the entire game. We're going through about six or seven rooms for one Metroid, and then we have to go back, because that's all that is needed to make the lava go down. And that's annoying! 
thankfully, this is pretty much the only time the game makes you do this, uh, this next, like, ten or so minutes of gameplay. Oh, and actually, I just remember one thing I wanted to bring up, I think I mentioned it, like, in part one, but I never got into it, is, uh, there's actually a fan remake of this game being made. It's been in production for quite some time, it's called Another Metroid 2 Remake, I believe. I'll uh, probably, I might try and post the uh, link to it in the description uh, in every part. Uh, yeah, another Metroid 2 remake. It's still in production, and it's been in production for some amount of time, I believe. The most recent update was uh, June 14th of 2014. But it's been around for a while, and it, they're pretty much zero missioning it, and it looks amazing. They're adding all sorts of gameplay elements and such, and making it a lot more like a zero mission, and I love it. I haven't played any of the demos yet, but I'm gonna... I might actually might let's play it if, uh, when it gets fully released, however long from now that may be. Because, let's see, this thing has been in production since... Uh, oh, by the way, here's the Gamma Metroid we're here for. <laughs> Actually, uh, I might as well tell you the features of it that they have told us right now for Metroid 2 Remake. Uh, zero mission style gameplay, a map system, updated AIs, mini-bosses, new areas, stackable beams, thank you! Uh, new sprites, log system, and a uh, high-quality soundtrack. That I'm looking forward to. However, now that that happens, the now that we've beaten that one Metroid, the earthquake now occurs. So yeah. However, a couple rooms back, you might see that the lava is still lowered. Remember that room I told you to remember in the last area? We have to go back to that room with the lava, and I cut back now. Oh, but first, uh, let's go get those two mis missile pods that I did miss the first time. Remember how when I was actually in this waterlogged room, I was bombing the ceiling, thinking there might be something there? I was right. And once you know it, I bl bombed in the only place... I, I bombed in everywhere except for the place where there was a bombable block. Ugh, don't you love it when stuff like that happens? So essentially, after getting these missile packs, you should have 210, I believe. Which means that there's only four missile pods left in the game after these two. 22 missile pods, I think that's the least in any Metroid game. Uh, Other M withstanding, because Other M I think only gives you one missile per. I forget though, it's been a while since I played Other M, I'm due for that again. And the second one is actually down in the water. And what's funny, I actually made a note to make sure I didn't miss this one, and once you know it, I did. Just roll into this completely obvious tunnel, and bomb some blocks, and you're there. And now, after this, we are going to go back to that room where the lava was earlier that we, uh, that I mentioned for you to remember back in the previous area. And by that, I mean this room. Because now the lava is lowered here. Thankfully, this place, while well, not out, out of the way as the other one, is still kind of weird because there's only two Metroids in this area, both, uh, actually no, an Alpha and a Gamma. Essentially, at the top of this little, uh, not really corridor, but eh, whatever you would call this, this room, there's two Metroid shells and two pathways. There's one Metroid in each direction. I recommend going to the left first. And you're going to have a unique little platforming gimmick in this place, but if you use the space jump to your advantage, you're not really going to care. We also got dragonflies for some reason. Essentially, I think these cults are called flits, or fleets. They're little, they look like mating uh, amoebas, I know, but essentially they're platforms. Uh, the ones in this room move all over the place, so it's kind of like Iceman stage from Mega Man 1. However, the space jump makes quick work of it all. And at the end of it, all oh, we have a lot an Alpha Metroid. This actually might be the last one we face in the game. I'm not too sure. Either way, there's 14 left. Also, what is the purpose of that little corridor there? Is it just just a screw of me? Anyway, back the shells. Now we're gonna have to head up because this is where the other Metroid is. 
Uh, actually, do we reach below 10 before the end of the part? I, uh, no, we don't. We might just hit 10 perfectly. Yeah, we do. Huh. Ah, well. I was close. Although it annoys me that it... it oh, first off, these enemies here, uh, they look like Pokemon, first off. And for another, you can kill them for some good energy. Uh, those guys would also reappear in Fusion later on. Though they're pathetically easy and you can just avoid them. And the fleets in this room go the Mega Man route again, and reappear, disappear. Yeah, I'm especially skipping these. Also, uh, the lava you can just take as pot damage because it doesn't do much to us. Although I know for a fact speedrunners might actually ignore the lava in certain areas, because they don't kill every Metroid, I know that for a fact. Anyway, down here, we got a Gamma. You know, you really start to get sick of the Metroid boss theme after a while. <laughs> and with that, that's the uh, that's all the Metroids in this area. Uh, sh it's of note that of in the previous Metroid room there was an energy ball to the left, and in this one there's a missile refill to the right. And with this earthquake, guess where we have to head? Where the actual lava was in the main hub area, where the good music is. So I'll meet you guys there in about three, two, one. <laughs> Why am I pausing? Alrighty. <laughs> Don't know why I did that. Even though I recorded this only about 40 minutes ago. And we're actually getting fairly close to the center of the planet, because that's what we're actually slowly doing. Slowly, but ever so surely. I wonder if you guys can hear my form. Gotta see if I can uh, hear that in the actual uh, thing. Recording, that's the word I was looking for. And I wonder if you guys can tell what my notification ringtone is. <laughs> if you guys know it, then you know I played too much of that one game, even though I've less played it already. Anyway, these really pixely looking rocks, I actually forgot what you had to do to them for a moment. Essentially, what you have to do is you have to take them out with missiles, but once you know it, that's the one thing I forgot to try. There we go. And that's the only time you have to do this in the game, I, that in the game, I believe. But with that, welcome to the area that I've always remembered from when I first played this about three years ago. Was it three? Actually, no, wait, that was a... Let me check something, because I remember for a fact I was watching a certain playthrough on YouTube when it happened. When I first played this, uh, let's see, I'm gonna go to that channel. I'm still trying to figure out when the... Shut up, phone! When the, uh, game, uh, remake got started. I know it was at least three or four years ago. By the way, Gamma in the hallway, totally easy. <laughs> I'm not even looking at my editor. I know for a fact that's just where I am. Come on, blog spot. Load quickly. And down here in this water, we got another missile pod. Three left in the game, and one of them's in this actual room, but I'm not going to get it until next part. Uh, let's see, when did I first play this game? It was at least three years ago, it had to have been. Also, uh, there's gonna be a cliffside coming up in about... ten or so seconds? Maybe more? Uh, I'm gonna cut back to there later on, so keep that place in mind. Uh, ooh, spikes, that was close. <laughs> Thank God Metroid's not Mega Man, or else I would be really afraid there. Ah, uh, there's a cliffside. I'm going to be cutting back there after I end the hallway. I did not click something. Go back, you damn thing. Either way, I'm just going to say that the Metroid 2 Remake's been in de development for quite some time. I'll probably get back to you with an official date, uh, next part.
And this hallway is treacherous, by the way. Anyway, it's in this next room... ...that the Gammas evolve again. Meet the worst Metroid type in the game, Zetas! I hate these guys! First off, they're aggressive, and you cannot shoot them from below, which is a tactic, as you may have noticed, I love using on Gammas and Alphas. They fire fireballs at you, and they actually hurt a lot, both touch damage and fireball-wise. You can shoot them in the back and the front, and I think the back does more damage for this and the next type of Metroid that we'll meet in probably a part or two. And I hate these guys. Luckily, they only take about 15 missiles, I think. I'm not sure, though. Uh, let's see... I first played this game... yeah, four years ago. Wow, I was surprisingly close. Now you might have most noticed that missile pond on the wall. I'll get that one next part. That's what I was talking about. And the last Metroid for the part is this Gamma, which I completely ignored for three seconds. Also, I kind of got stuck in a corner there. That's not good. Also, I think if you do damage to a Metroid and you leave the screen that it's on, the, its health resets, so uh, don't do that. <laughs> And with that guy dead, and me getting the energy orb that's there in the wall, just uh, clip into this part of the wall that I'm next to right now, I'm going to need to end this off here. Thank you guys for watching, rate, comment, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. And next time Let's Play Metro 2 Return of Samus, we'll be continuing on in this area and seeing what we can find here. And kill whatever Metroids you hear in the process. See you guys then.